What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you my WWE Royal Rumble 2024 predictions video. The Rumble takes place this Saturday, January the 27th. Not this Sunday as Gunther would have you believe, this Saturday. And currently guys, it is a four match card. A really small card. I don't know if this will get bumped up, some matches will be added. But I am filming this after the go-home Raw and before the go-home SmackDown. So I think it's safe to assume no matches are going to be added for the Monday Night brand. Maybe we'll get one or two more added on SmackDown. If we do, I will add them in the description and the comments down below alongside my prediction. But without further ado, let's get right into match number one. Kicking off the show, the United States Championship is on the line as Logan Paul takes on Kevin Owens. I believe, I'm fairly certain, this is Logan's first defense of the United States Championship since he won the title from Rey Mysterio at Crown Jewel last year. Is he going to retain? Absolutely. I see no chance for Kevin Owens to pick up the title here. I 100% think that Logan's going to be carrying the US title into WrestleMania and dropping it there. If I throw out an early prediction, I'm going to assume he's going to be in some sort of multi-man match, maybe a ladder match for the championship. I don't see Kevin Owens picking up the title here, unfortunately. Logan Paul to retain. A fatal four-way match for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship is up next. Roman Reigns defending the title against Randy Orton, AJ Styles and LA Knight. Yeah! For the first time since the Tribal Chief has been champion, I think his title is seriously in jeopardy here. I never bet against the Tribal Chief, ever. Never, ever, ever have I bet against the Tribal Chief. But when it comes to a fatal four-way, Roman doesn't need to be pinned. He doesn't need to be even anywhere near. He doesn't have to be involved at all. If he's out at ringside, if he's down on the mat if he's in the back it doesn't matter he can still lose the title so just for traditional sake i'm saying roman's going to retain but i do think there is a possibility here where you could have like cody win the rumble randy win the title do cody versus randy at mania for the belt let cody finish his story and then do roman versus rock without a championship there's so many booking possibilities but I have to make a call. I'm going with the Tribal Chief. I'm going with Roman Reigns to retain the Undisputed Championship. The Women's Royal Rumble match is up next. And the confirmed participants so far are as follows. We have Bailey, Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, Nia Jax, Maxine Dupree, Ivy Nile and 24 more to be determined. Who do I think is going to win the Women's Royal Rumble this year? And honestly, guys... I have no idea. I genuinely have no idea. I'm going to give you three potential predictions and then I'm going to have to pick my one out of those three. First up, I'm predicting Bailey. I think Bailey could win the Rumble, have Dakota and EO turn on her, turn her back babyface, and then have baby challenge uh, baby have Bailey challenge for the title and win against the EO Sky at WrestleMania. My second prediction is Nia Jax. Uh, this is one that I don't want to happen, but she's been booked quite strongly since she's returned and I could see her winning the Rumble. And then third and final prediction is Jade Cargill, making her debut in the Rumble match and winning. But if I have to pick one, do you know what? If I have to pick one, I am going with Bailey. Bailey is my prediction to win the Women's Royal Rumble. I want the fantasy booking scenario I just stated to come true. Have her turn babyface, have damage control turn on her, and then have Bailey take on EO for the title, or maybe even have a triple threat at WrestleMania where Bailey wins the championship because she deserves, she has earned another run with the title. Bailey is my prediction. And that brings us to the assumed main event of the evening, the men's Royal Rumble match. The participants are as follows. CM Punk, 
Cody Rhodes, Shinsuke Nakamura, Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre, Gunther, Chad Gable, Otis, Akira Tozawa, Kofi Kingston, Damian Priest, and 19 more to be determined. Now, this is based off what the website's telling me. There may be some more, there may be some less, I don't know. Uh, but those are the ones that this website is saying are the people in the match. Which means we've got 19 people, 19 potential surprises. I mean, last year, I think the whole field was announced except for three. I much prefer it when they keep the Royal Rumble as, like, ominous as possible. Um, and they don't let us know who's going to be in the match. Keep it, keep it with room for surprise. Uh, anyway, same as what I did for the women. Three potential picks. My first pick. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, to win back-to-back -back Royal Rumbles. Taking on... Roman again at Mania potentially or Randy is what I've stated previously I don't know Cody winning is definitely a top possibility my second pick is Gunther the Intercontinental Champion to go all the way I mean he was number one last year made it all the way to the final two and just slipped up at the last second he would then win and challenge Seth freaking Rollins if he's healthy enough at Wrestlemania for the title and then my third pick which, spoiler, is my actual pick. I'm predicting the best in the world, CM Punk, to return to the Royal Rumble, wrestle in his first Royal Rumble for 10 years, go all the way, win the Royal Rumble match, challenge Seth freaking Rollins for the title at WrestleMania, and become the World Heavyweight Champion in the main event of WrestleMania night one. That is my prediction, CM Punk to win the men's Royal Rumble. Now, there could be some surprises. Now, the reason I haven't actually touched on those is because I did a whole separate list of 10 potential surprises. If you haven't watched that video, I'll leave a little link for it. Click that, watch it. I guarantee you, you will pop at some of the surprises. That's why I haven't featured any surprises here. But those are my Royal Rumble predictions for this year. Guys, let me know your predictions in the comment section down below. Like, comment and subscribe. I will be watching the Rumble live. Hopefully bringing you live reactions as well. But we will have to wait and see. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for this year's Royal Rumble. I'm more excited than I have been for a, since probably 2021. Which is a good sign. And uh, I just can't wait to watch the show. Anyway, once again, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.